Being represented uh, at Bike and North today by Bill Gerstenmeyer, the Associate Administrator for Human Exploration Operations, and Michael Suffredini, the International Space Station Program Manager. We also had a final chance to say uh, farewell to their families and. Uh, mm -hmm. What's happening now is that the commander is going to leave check on his suit for the second of each. They're going to pressurize the suit to make sure that it's all the way down from here. And then I will do it, and then Karen will do the same thing. When you see the loop, you can see the loop, and you can see the loop. But when you see the loop, you can see the loop. And this is it. Queste cose sono le cose che si fanno con noi, con la gente, anche quando si parla di gioco. E poi un'altra cosa divertente che è al veicolo, lo possiamo fare gli stivali che sono gli stivali che sono più nuovi e resteranno sempre nuovi, perché ogni volta li fanno nuovi nella scuola meno curata del mio. No, 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 sono sempre fatti su misura in base alla all we need is sprinklers and a couple of rocks. When you stretch up, what you say is for a good Again, this is a video that was recorded earlier today as the uh, crew that's getting ready to head to the International Space Station as part of Expedition 36 uh, completed the uh, suit up and getting their final mass measurements recorded uh, prior to their launch. Going through full pressure checks to make sure their uh, spacesuits are in good shape and ready to uh, support them during the journey to orbit. Karen Nyberg here uh, getting a chance to uh, close her visor and get pressure checks. Uh, and of course, they also had time behind that glass partition, which uh, maintains their quarantine status but allows them also to say farewell to their families and to uh, dignitaries there at the launch site. With all those preparations uh, behind them, the crew left site 254. Uh, they. Uh, Wave farewell to uh, well-wishers as they uh, walk the gauntlet, uh, getting ready to head for the launch pad. <laughs> Nyberg on the left, your chicken in the middle, the taller uh, Parmitano on the right in your picture here. 
awaiting the crew's arrival at the base of the Soyuz rocket. Uh, we're well wishes, including uh, Vladimir Popovkin, the head of Roscosmos, who also is the head of the Russian State Commission of Top Space Managers, and Vitaly Labota, the head of the Soyuz spacecraft design at RSC Energia. And the accomplishment of all the goals set. All the best. Good luck. Thank you. Now, please, wave your hands. Fedor Nikolaevich. And all together, please. Crew members then uh, boarded their bus at about 12.31 p.m. Central Time for the ride out to Launch Pad 1, the Gagarin Launch Pad. And that drive took about 25 minutes, and they arrived at the pad about 12.56 p.m. Central Time. Sir, the leader of the Federal Space Agency, the crew of the Soyuz vehicle, are ready for launch. Fyodor Shikin reporting to Vladimir Popovkin, the head of Roscosmos, and to Vitaly Lapota, the head of the Soyuz spacecraft design for RSC Energia, that the crew is reporting for duty and ready for launch. Photo. Last photo opportunity before the crew uh, waved goodbye and uh, prepared to board the elevator for the ride to the top of the Soyuz rocket. traditional stairway wave as uh, the crew prepares to board the elevator that will take them to their spacecraft at the top of the Soyuz rocket as it billows oxygen after being uh, fueled about three hours prior to launch. Now off you go. One last look at Karen Nyberg as uh, they get the instructions to head for the elevator and to the top of the rocket and their spacecraft. We are now 19 minutes and 30 seconds counting down to the launch of the trio of space explorers who will be heading for the International Space Station later today. A group of NASA representatives is there in Baikonur, just a short distance away from the launch pad. And for an update on the activities there, let's now go to NASA Public Affairs Officer Rob Navius. Rob, go ahead. 